Hi, my name is Chris Copen with Kramer Electronics, and my fast fact today is based on the HDMI connector. So I don't know if you're like me, but there's times you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't get back to sleep, and you start thinking about your HDMI cables. Well, this happened to me recently, and it wasn't so much thinking about the cables, but more specifically the connector itself. So if you know with HDMI, it requires 19 conductors. But if you look at the end of your HDMI connector, it looks like there's only 18 pins. It actually looks like one is missing. Well, it's actually not missing. It's just shorter than all of the other pins. This is actually pin 18, the 5-volt pin. So the HDMI designers ori originally were very clever, and they wanted to ensure with all the handshakes that have to happen within HDMI that when you're inserting an HDMI cable, they want all of the other conductors to be seated, and then the very last thing that happens is that 5 volts making a connection, which is what starts the handshakes. Same thing on the reverse. When you remove an HDMI cable, they wanted the 5, vol 5 volts to be the first thing that gets disconnected. So this is one of the reasons why Kramer designed what we call K-Lock. So K-Lock is a set of tabs that we placed on top of the HDMI connectors of our cables that provide 15 pounds of pull tension. So this 15 pounds of pull tension really gives you a sense of security. When you plug in an HDMI cable, you can feel the pressure required to insert the cable as well as in removing. It does take a, you know, a fair amount of pressure to remove it. So this assures that these cables stay seated and placed where you put them. So especially considering pin 18 being shorter than all of the others. I know if I was a systems installer and if I was two or 300 miles away from my office, considering the amount of HDMI cables that I put in systems today, I would want to make sure that when I've moved the uh, components around and put them you know, to their final resting place, that I'm using cables like K-Lock so that those HDMI cables do stay seated and that one is not going to wiggle itself loose um, so that I'm, you know, maybe be forced to come back to this job site two or three weeks later just because of a cable not being seated all the way, some type of intermittent connection. So I hope you find today's video informative and we'll talk to you again sometime soon.